We want to invite you into a rhythm of daily prayer by forming a habit of communicating with God in the morning, the afternoon and the evening. We pray because we want to connect with God. We want to commune with him. As Ronald Rollheiser says, experiencing the unconditional love of God is what prayer in the end is all about. Yet our days are hectic. And as we work through the push and pull of modern life, we often forget to pray, not out of badness, just out of busyness. And we simply can't leave prayer up to chance. And so we need to practice a regular rhythm by which we intentionally pull away from the thick of life simply to be with him. As we look back at the lives of David, Daniel, Jesus himself, his early disciples, and monastic movements who would follow, they've all shown us the secret to devoted prayer, which is crafting a rhythm of praying multiple times throughout the day. In Psalm 55, David shows us his rhythm of prayer when he says, evening and morning and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. We want to invite you to try out what is known as fixed our prayer by taking time each morning, afternoon and evening to pray. As we get into the flow of pausing and praying throughout the day, our awareness of God's presence can't help but permeate our whole lives as we naturally begin to pray without ceasing. Prayer is the love language of our life with God. And yet like any healthy relationship, a life of prayer is sustained by us showing up for God and showing up regularly. Discipline is necessary in our discipleship. Prayer takes practice behind the scenes. But it's really important to highlight that this sense of discipline has nothing to do with duty or legalism, but it has everything to do with desire. Our discipline in prayer and other practices is grounded in our love for Jesus. We live in a contested age where our attention and our longings are pulled in multiple directions all the time. Holy habits repeated over and over again remind us to draw from the deep well of our ultimate desire to be near Jesus. Intentional practices like prayer call us back to our first love. And prayer, it doesn't need to be complicated. Anyone can pray and it's helpful to remember that prayer is more than just the words we speak or the thoughts we think. Above all, Prayer is a posture by which we open ourselves up to the nearness of God in any given moment. As you pray, keep it simple. Don't try to pretend to be someone that you're not with Jesus. Communicate with him using your own words and the cadence of your own voice, knowing that sometimes the shortest and simplest of prayers are all that need to be shared. We pray not to get things from God, but to get with God. And so by learning to pray daily and often, we discover the joy of God with us as we experience his nearness in every single moment. And so let me walk you through what a rhythm of daily prayer could look like for you. Let's begin with the morning. Jesus not only taught us how to pray, he also pointed out when to pray. As we read in Mark chapter one, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house and went to a solitary place where he prayed. So before we face the demands of the day, we are to join Jesus in morning prayer, taking time to rest in his presence, to devote ourselves to him and commit our days and therefore our lives to muck in on his mission wherever we go. We're to give God the best time of our days. And for most of us, that is the morning. And so ahead of the daily grind, we have time, or if we're honest, we can make time to open ourselves up to God and begin our day with him. Ahead of giving our attention and energy to scrolling through the news, the school run, the commute, the endless emails and the task lists, by spending time with Jesus, we're expressing to him that he is our priority, that he has our undivided hearts. And so practically, take a few minutes in the morning to pray by finding a quiet space, ideally in your home, that you can return back to daily, a place that is free from distractions to devote yourself to Jesus. If you're starting out this practice for the first time, begin by setting aside around 10 minutes for morning prayer. Pray aloud a short, simple prayer that opens you up to the presence of Jesus, something like come Holy Spirit. Rest silently for a few moments to abide in God's love before grabbing a Bible to receive God's word. 
we've created a daily rhythms scripture practice guide to walk you through a really simple way to read your Bible that you can use here. Then taking the first line of the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. By using your own words in prayer, direct your praises to Jesus. Tell him how much you love him. If for whatever reason you're struggling to find the words to express your devotion, you can draw upon prayers that others have prayed and written down for us, which provide a structure for us to lean up against when we can't muster up the words or feelings ourselves. We have included a number of these set prayers in our Daily Rhythms Practice Guide on Prayer. Before you wrap up your time of prayer, talk with Jesus about the day ahead, naming specifically the people and the situations that you will encounter. Ask for the Holy Spirit's help as you commit yourself to seek first his kingdom wherever you go that day. If the morning is a time for devotion to Jesus, in the middle of your day, we want to call you into intercession to pray as Jesus taught us, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Intercession is a bold kind of prayer. When I contend in prayer, it often sounds pretty clunky as I lose the run of myself in passionate prayer. It's like this because intercession comes from a place of love. We are all surrounded by situations that we wish were different. Not everything is as it should be. We live in the tension of the kingdom of heaven being already at hand, and yet we often bump up against it's not yet. As loved ones fall ill, crisis hits, and systems collapse. When our hearts break, we pray. And we pray because we love. And yet we pray full of hope because we believe Jesus not only hears our prayers, but he also shapes his world through them. And so in the afternoon, right at the heart of your day, set an alarm, and when it pings, do two things. Firstly, pray the Lord's Prayer. And secondly, take a few moments to contend for specific people and circumstances, boldly asking for God's good future to break into the givenness of the present moment. And then finally, Let's talk about evening prayer. As night sets in and our bodies begin to wind down after a busy day, we want to invite you to pray, allowing your soul to truly rest in God. In the practice guide, we introduce three tools that you can draw upon as you pray in the evening, and they are gratitude, confession, and the examine. With gratitude, one of the easiest and most valuable forms of prayer comes down to saying two words to Jesus. Thank you. Simply take a few moments to look back over your day and begin to thank God for his goodness and blessings made known in both the small and the significant. We also believe that the kindness of God leads us to repentance. Throughout our days, we each will have acted in certain ways that do not align with the nature of Jesus. The heart of God, however, is forgiveness. And this is where confession comes in. We can humbly and honestly come before our loving Lord, specifically naming the thoughts or deeds that have pulled us away from him and at the same time receive his boundless mercy. And the final prayer tool that we want to equip you with for the evening is the prayer of examine, which is a really helpful way to rewind back over the events of our day, to recall our emotions, our thoughts, our actions, and to help us become aware of Christ's presence throughout it all. You can do the examine by finding a quiet space at the end of the day and begin by taking a minute to replay in your mind all of the things that have happened that day. Prayerfully ask, what happened today? Then begin to reflect, using questions to help highlight the positive parts of your day. Questions like, where did I feel most alive? Or where was I in step with God today? Then take a moment to thank God for the gifts of the day. And then after another moment, ask yourself questions that poke at the harder parts of your day. Questions like, what bothered me today? Where did I feel the most stress? Or what did I regret from today? Then take a further moment to confess the ways that you have not followed Jesus wholeheartedly. Finally, close out your time of self-examination by committing yourself once again to follow Jesus as you look ahead to a new day tomorrow.
As you get into the rhythm of praying in the evening, you can draw upon one of these ways of praying each night through gratitude, confession, and the examine. Praying like this in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening will help us get into a rhythm of regularly connecting with God, intentionally being with Him. And yet as you build this habit of prayer, you will begin to find that you naturally find praying easier in the hours between the morning moment, the afternoon alarm, and the evening examine. All of life is prayer. And we are invited to pray without ceasing, living with a constant, conscious awareness of Jesus being with us. We will find that our set times of prayer actually help release us to pray more spontaneously throughout our days. And so we want to invite you into an intentional rhythm of prayer by intentionally praying in the morning, the afternoon and the evening. The practice guide will give you more guidance around how you can actually give this a go. If this is new for you though, start small, keep it simple, focus on building the habit first and over time, you can begin to pray a little longer as you go on. If you need any help with this practice, please do get in touch. You can head to laganvalleyvineyard.com forward slash rhythms to find out more. But here's the thing, we are to prioritize prayer like this because this is how Jesus himself prayed. We are more distracted than ever before, and yet this rhythm allows us to set our attention and devote our affection to the one we worship. Prayers are like portals that lead us into the presence of Jesus. As we pray, we are drawn deeper into love. And so, in the words of Richard Foster, friends, may I call you to the adventure of prayer because nothing draws us closer to the heart of God. Grace and peace to you all.